Hello! In this video I will tell you about the basic possibilities of the software for the Portable Spectrum Analyzer Arians SSA. The unit is a less expensive variation of the common Portable Spectrum Analyzers. It's designed to help radio amateurs to explore ultra-high frequencies and simplify the work of mounting teams who adjust antenna and communication systems. When you start to work, turn on the tablet and check the work of its Bluetooth. Turn on the power supply. Launch the control program. Press the icon Bluetooth at the upper right corner of the screen. In the window that you will see, press the button Bluetooth and search for units nearby. When you have pressed on the name of the unit, you will see that the connection is activated now. Once you've done this, enter the standard pin code 1234 that initiates the connection between units. To enter the main menu, slide your finger across the screen from left to right. To close the menu, press the screen in the menu free area. The menu has a few basic functions. Frequency controls the frequency operation range. Amplitude controls the amplitude operation range. Markers selection menu of the type of the marker connections. Peak menu for the automatic search and identification of the extreme values of the signal. Trace menu for statistical and mathematical processing of the measurement results. Settings section menu for the language, display parameters and connection. File menu for loading and storage of the measurement results. Notifications menu for support service notifications. About menu for the indication of the software version of the tablet, the unit serial number and the software version of the unit. Let's take a closer look at the functions of control. Touch the frequency scale with your finger and move it in the desired direction. If you want to change the sweep band, touch the frequency scale with your two fingers and then decrease or increase the sweep band. Choose the option Frequency to select the frequency range you want. Suppose you want to see the signal downlink of the base station WCDMA. Enter the start frequency, start 2110 MHz and the stop frequency, stop 2170 MHz. Another way to enter the frequency is to enter the center frequency. For instance, enter the center frequency LTE 2600 MHz and set up the sweep band at 200 MHz. The third way to enter the frequency is to download presettings from the settings stored before. In the option frequency, press preset and select the required frequency of the preliminary settings. Offset. Set up the permanent offset of the frequency network when you use the external converter to expand the operating frequency range, for instance, satellite converter. The option regions provides control over the range marking and names them to simplify identification of different frequencies. The option Amplitude controls the scale of the amplitude. Reference level sets up maximum value to be displayed on the screen. If the reference level that you chose exceeds minus 30 dBm, the internal attenuator automatically turns on. Another way to set up the reference level is to touch the amplitude scale and move it. Step allows you to set up the increment for the manual change of the amplitude scale by touching. Using the scale, you can choose the scale pitch of the horizontal lines 5 dB or 10 dB. The option reference offset allows you to move the amplitude scale, which makes it convenient to watch the signal offset against the level when you use an external attenuator or amplifier. The option markers controls marker measurements. Markers can be set up in two different ways. To input the marker frequency, precisely press ADD marker and enter the marker frequency that you want. The marker will be set. You can set up the marker by double-clicking the screen if you don't want the marker to have a precise frequency. 
you can change the marker frequency by pressing the marker indicator. Wait for about one second and then change the frequency. Type is used to select the type of the marker measurement. Normal measurement of the absolute value and the amplitude. Delta ample measurement of the relevant difference of the amplitude between the measure and additional marker. Delta frac measurement of the relevant difference of the amplitude between the measure and the additional marker. Delta ample plus frac measurement of the relevant difference of the amplitude and frequency between the measure and additional marker. The menu for automatic measurements of the extreme values of the signal is the peak search. The menu has a few functions. By using peak search, you have the mark automatically set up at the maximum value of the signal. You should set the option continuous for the cyclic repetition of the search for the maximum value. If you want to track both the level and the frequency of the signal maximum value. In this case, the marker will automatically follow the maximum value of the signal. Signal track is used to automatically set the maximum signal at the center of the display. If it's necessary to track the signal with changing frequency, it is possible to select the option Auto. In this case, the maximum signal will be always set at the display center automatically. Makers can be set up automatically on a number of maximum signals while their amplitude is the screen. To do this, select the number of markers from 1 to 10 in the option Multi-Peak. Then go to the option Multi-Peak and press Run. If necessary, use the cyclic re repeat. You can change the cyclic tracking of the peak values by pressing the button Stop. The mode Trace processes the results of measurements. The display also shows the result of the mathematical processing of the measurement results. The mathematic processing of the set number measurement makes it possible to get more information about the analyzed signal. Free scan sets up cyclic scanning of the spectrum and performs by scanning by hand. The mode average allows you to average the number of measurements based on a series of measurements. You can start the operation in this mode. For this, select the tracing type which accumulates measurements. Sliding mode of sliding data accumulation normal mode of single time accumulation of data according to the set number of scannings max hold displays the maximum values of measurements resulted from several scans min hold displays minimum values of the measurements resulted from several scans spreading mode displays the maximum and minimum values of the measurements resulted from several scans these are the basic functions of the unit control. In the next videos, we will go into detail about the situations where such functions are required.